Hey guys, welcome back. It's Carl here and today in Python we are going to be doing some variables. We're going to teach you guys how to do some variables. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you learned before, if we got 2 plus 3, of course we're going to get 5, right? But if we have something like x equals 2, then what we have just done is we have assigned a variable to the letter x we have now made x equal 2 so if we hit enter we see nothing happens however if i hit x now and then i do enter what i get is 2 because the number 2 has been assigned to x so let's see what else we can do with this so now if i come here and say x plus 2 then what would i get now i will get 4 because x equals 2 which 2 plus 2 equals 4 so now we're working now we're cooking with grease so what if we assigned another variable so let's let's say we did y so let's just say now y equals three so what we have done is assign y to three so now y equals three now let's just say we did something like this x plus y so now that you know that x equals two y equals three which means we'll get a value of x plus y equaling 5 because 2 plus 3 is 5 x equals 2 y equals 3 so now we're getting somewhere now we're seeing how it looks when we create variables in Python so let's take a little deeper dive into this let's just say now we're gonna change this to x equals 5 can we do that let's see what if we type x here now we've just changed that x that equals 2 to x now equaling 5 and then let's just come here and take another step and say let's say x plus y now now x plus y is going to equal 8 because x is not equal to 5 and y is still equal to 3 so 5 plus 3 is going to give us 8 now what happens if we just do something simple like abc Oh, we get an error because we have to assign ABC to something and if we don't assign ABC to something then that's what we get a simple error that has to be assigned so let's go ahead and take this a step further and say let's just say X plus 6 X plus 6 is going to give us 11 because X equals 5 5 plus 6 is 11 next thing I want to try here is let's do this underscore what do you think this underscore is going to give us well in Python this underscore simply means previous operation so if we just hit enter here we're gonna get 11 so imagine if we did something like this underscore plus 5 what number do you think we're gonna get alright let's go ahead and hit enter and see if you're right boom we get 11 plus 5 5 equals 16 because that's what that underscore represents that underscore represents the previous operation let's go ahead and take this a step further so you can also use the strings as a variable as well now that we see how those works let's try to use a string as a variable so let's just say we have name and we want name to equal let's just say something cool let's just want you guys know what I love the most I love Tesla so we're gonna say name equals Tesla and we're gonna hit enter and then if we just type in name then what do we get we get the name representing Tesla so what if we wanted to do something like Tesla Model S then how would that look so what we'll have to do is name plus model s so now we get Tesla model s and that's how that works when you use a string as a variable now what happens if we just do something simple as name and then model s what happens is we get an error because remember we have to make sure that when we're doing this variable that we're using the plus sign so if you don't use the plus sign or you forget that plus sign and you get this syntax error just know that you got that syntax error because you forgot that plus sign so let's go ahead and move right along another thing you can do with your variable strings is you can get the letters by using numbers 
So the way this works in Python is each letter represents a number. So in the case of Tesla, Tesla is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0 being T, 1 being E, S being 2, L being 3, and A being 4. And that is how you represent the numbers in reference to the letters. So let's see how this works. If we do something like get the E out of Tesla, we will do something like this. We will say name and then we'll use these brackets and I want to hit one because remember one represents the E. So if I come here and just hit enter, then now we have the E present. So what if I want to grab the A out of Tesla? Then how will we do that? Remember, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we will have to come here and say 4. And then that will be the A. Now, what if we wanted to grab a series of numbers, more than one? What if we wanted to grab TES, T-E-S? Then how will we do that? So the way we do that is we'll say name. Then I want to grab that first letter, which is 0. And then I want to put a colon here. And in order to get the T, E, and the S, what we have to do is we will have to, we have to go one number further, one letter further, one letter and one number further than the S. So it'll be 0, 1, 2, and then 3 because we want to get that 2. So let's go ahead and hit 3 here and hit enter. And that is how we get test. What happens if we were to search for the number 5? What, what do you think we will get? Let's just say we come here and say five. Do you think we're gonna get a number or not? Boom, we don't get a number because what it says is an index error and the string index is out of range because it stops at four. Here's one I bet you haven't thought of. What if we use a negative one? What do you think we'll get? Well, let's try it. Name negative one and what does that equal it equals a because the way this works in negative numbers is the negative numbers start from right to left which means it'll be negative one negative two negative three negative four and negative five will be our t how do we know that well let's test it if we say name and then negative five what do we get we get the t so that is how that works. Now, now, what if we wanted to use a number getting everything? How would we do that? Well, all we have to do here is say name and then pick zero and then just do that and hit enter. And now we have the whole name because what we did was we left off the, the, the second number to basically say, just give me everything, including zero and after zero. All right. One more thing I want to show you guys is that in a variable, we can also count the length. So what if I just said my name equal Carl Huff, and I can't forget these, what would I get? An error. Because this is an invalid syntax because we've already used name. We cannot use name multiple times so what we'll have to do to fix that is we'll have to say my name all together and then we'll have to say that equals carl huff so now what do we get when we type in my name we get carl huff now what if i wanted to know the length of that so i would just type in here length and then my name hit enter and it gives me the length of that name. So Carl is one, two, Carl Huff is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that is how you use variables in Python.